Well, you know what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna get this furnace turned off. Actually, he's gonna clean, and we'll get this unboxed. Oh hey, the phone is finally turned off. Hopefully he finishes cleaning up pretty good. But uh, while he's doing that, I'm gonna get this thing out of the box, shall we? I don't know if you've seen these puppies. But when they announced they were in English, I was super excited. So I remember buying my first digital torque wrench and it was completely useless. All it did was digitally display the setting that you had it at. Uh, and you still twisted the dial. You didn't like it to hit the little up arrow and get it to that. You still had to sit there and twist the thing until it read it. Whereas this thing... Well, what? I'm done. Uh, this well, thing's cleaning. Do you have fun? Yeah, that yeah, I'm gonna open stuff. Yeah, I know I don't get much done. Whatever. But whatever. I mean, if that's what you know, okay. you want to do, and right. you think you're gonna use that tool, then fine, enjoy it. Uh, can I go in? Since, you know, it's all okay. Now. So, what this is? Work. This is the M12 fuel. Huh. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, uh, all right. Digital torque wrench yeah, with one fun. key kit. Okay. So, the one key will go into that in an in-depth video about what you can do with this but let's just say you can do reports and things like that and uh, one of the reasons I got this is because a lot of people were saying that this is only for like electricians and I really think you know after watching uh, Obsessed Garage talk about it he talked a little bit about it saying that he didn't see a use I actually see a use for it I see that if you're sitting there and you're not wanting to because I don't trust uh, impacts and torque tubes I've heard one you have to constantly recalibrate it. But two, most people don't even calibrate their torque tubes, right? So you have a torque tube and it has a spec that you're supposed to be at. And if your impact doesn't have an adjustment on it, now with the air ones, they have like a dial usually, but say for example, when you calibrate it, you're at the bottom of what's in your air tank. And then you're doing a bunch and the air compressor kicks on then you're gonna be over torquing it. Or you calibrate it when you're at the high end and then you're getting some guy's lugs on, you're zipping them on with your torque tube and the compressor's really low, was about to kick on, and now you're under torquing it. So I, I don't really agree in the whole torque tubes. I like to run them on, get it snug, and especially if I can do it before there's weight on the tires, uh, I like to get everything snugged up. Whereas this essentially is like a ratchet that then gets to a torque setting and then you like a traditional torque wrench go like that but it'll tell you when it's ready so okay so this is a full kit let's get you some part numbers right it is the 2466-22 dash 20 would be the tool only tool 21 if it exists would be a single battery and this is the 22 so this is a kit so this comes with a charger and all that good whatnots and i wanted it as a kit because I wanted to be able to keep the torque wrench in the case. Because as much as this thing costs, uh, I wasn't going to mess around with that. So look at that, I can win something. Ooh, quick start guide. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, it's like digital. Set target art torque, pull trigger to max RPM. Tool will automatically stop prior to torque. Prevent for over torquing. Finish by hand. Press sent to save and record. Save and record. 
So you can literally torque down a bunch of stuff. And that's what they're saying. Like a lot of people are going to be able to use this uh, for inspection records. So imagine you're doing a bunch of power transformers in a distribution center and you need to give a report back to the quality engineer. Boom, you're going to be able to do that with the one key. So, okay, let's get her out. Here she is. I went ahead and did the half inch since I'm primarily going to be using this for uh, lug nuts and any of that big stuff. Oh, it feels really good. I like the way it feels. Unlocked. Locked. Okay, so it's got a trigger lock here. It feels very good. It's got this hand boot. It's metal all the way up into here. Let's see, it comes with two 2.0 batteries with a little spot that they fit in in this blow molding. I probably, I'm gonna have to make this case pack out compatible. This will not fit in a pack out. This happens to be a black one, but whatever. Diagonally in one of the deepers, I think it will fit. But you can see, it's not going to fit in there. Being able to take this I already have the one key, but good lord. Okay, let's move on. So like I said, it's got the two batteries. It's got this little tag. It basically tells you to secure it, to track it in your one key. You're gonna wanna go ahead. It's got a calibration sheet because it's a torque range. Torque range, 12.5 to 150 foot pounds. Uh, they torqued it. Let's see, they did it at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Its accuracy is 0.25%. They used something calibration equipment. It's got my serial number, my model number on it. They did uh, counterclockwise and clockwise torques. Uh, manual, charger, that good stuff. Little sleeve. Uh, it comes with the standard 12 M12 power adapter. I'm going to leave that literally in here. I have so many of these. I don't need more. Uh, Trying to see what else I use. Okay, yeah, the battery is gonna fit in. Let's see if it works with a 6L. This is one of the XC6s. Yes, it's going to. Comes up, oh. See here, you can see where it's sailing, telling you what it's set to. So here, you can navigate around, quick mode, click OK, and now you can raise this thing up. So here, 90 foot pounds, and say OK. Go back. Now you can see. It's set to 90 foot-pounds, and I believe, let's put a socket on this. So these are the Sonic sockets I bought from my oh shit kit. It's actually Yeah, so it's really only meant to drive it in and then stop. So let me grab a nut. Okay, so we can see, right? 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do, because I don't have a tire on here, so I'm gonna set this to, we're gonna set it to like 40 foot pounds. We're gonna say okay. Okay, so we're back at home. Make sure it's on forward. Put it on. Okay, it stopped. And now, 33, 34, 35, green. And then you can see your screen comes up and it tells you 40.4 pounds. So, so that's pretty cool, right? So let's do this, let's change this again. Let's change it to 30. Okay, now I'm gonna pop this out. Using it like a standard, right? I'm zipping them off, okay? It's loose. All right, you can take it off by hand, but why? All right, so you get it started. Put your torque wrench on. Instead of hitting it down with the impact. It stops as soon as it gets there. And it starts reading, 14. 16, 17, 29, 30, done. So if I was sitting here doing a bunch, I'd put the next one on, run it down, start to go like that. It would tell me I'm good. Move on to my next, drive it, move on to my next, drive it, move on to my next. So yeah, I, I think, I think I'll love this, honestly. And I'm not saying I'm an auto shop, but say if I was an auto shop, where I was constantly working on something like this. I mean, one, I've had people, friends, go into shops and then call me to work on their car. And I've gone in there and to pull the rear wheel off or something like that, we've had to use like five cheater pipes we've got like 10 feet of pipe sticking out and we're trying to break lug, lug nut loose you go back to that shop and they're like oh here's your one key report i never over torqued yours you just have rusty bolts things like that so i think the one key is going to add and uh this video right so i wanted to make this as a quick unboxing because i wanted to cover one product and i wanted to voice my initial opinion so i am going to make follow-up opinion videos on this uh, I've got to put this truck back together and all of the parts that I put on it I'm gonna use this when it comes to torquing them down unless it's something that's under I think it said 30 or uh, 12 foot-pounds so if it's over 12 yay I get to use it but when I go to put the lug nuts on I'll go ahead and throw the camera up and I'll record me doing all of them as a separate video so you can see uh, I zipped them on they stopped I get it to where it needs to go but you know you zip it on you get one tight and then you put weight on the vehicle and one of them doesn't seat it all the way and you're sitting there with your torque wrench going Ch -ch -ch oh god I should I, sh I should just get my impact back out whereas this you're gonna be able to squeeze that trigger you're gonna be able to run that lug nut the rest of the way in and then you're not gonna have to pull it back out you're gonna leave it right where you want it you've got your screen set to what you want the thing to torque at you're gonna torque it down and you're gonna be good to go. So I'm gonna flip this around and give you some more opinions. Okay, so, hey, that's nice. You can fit a socket in this case. Uh, one of the other things here, so this is the compartment for the little one key battery. As you can see, it fits the XC60 just fine. The case, has it blow molded to for it to fit an XC60. It also 
<laughs> now, that's pretty cool. Hold on. So, in the case, there is a double indentation. So you can either have your XC's, or sorry, your CP 2.0's, or, now that's a little tricky to get that out, but it works. But if you look, I can get two of those in there as well, and it closes. So they made it, they knew that people were gonna be able to run these in them. So that's super cool. Uh, or the batteries that it came with, the CP2Os, fit in there fine. Uh, when I do my follow-up video, I'll show you the one key. We'll do that, that's what we'll do, is we'll go over one key and I'll show it torquing all these lug nuts down. So, as I said, quick video, because this one, we're gonna announce the winners on. Uh, and the winner is for the crowbar, which is in the house, but whatever. Uh, that got a ton of comments. I appreciate everyone for uh, following along or playing along on that one. We got a lot of interesting comments like, I'll use the crowbar to take the stick out of my, you know what's, my wife's, you know what, uh, beating people to death with it, you name it. We got every type of combination of comment on it. So that was really entertaining and it was a lot of good laughs. So I'm gonna get the misses. We're gonna grab a laptop and we're gonna show you here on the screen. So I will be right back. All right, Jacob Ball, are you ready to pick the winner? Video is mostly edited. Time for this part to get added. Okay, let's go. How All do right. I do this? Okay, I gotta. So we've got the video brought up. We're gonna hit this. All right. We're gonna allow duplicates. We're gonna hit continue. Let's see if it finds something good. Load it 200, 300. All right. Let's pick them and show this. Oh part. my gosh, Jacob, all this is taking forever. What's okay, hold on. on. I think we found one. Grizzly King. The pry bar would be great uh, work tool as I do demolition, but I would also use uh, to make a, ba a good back scratcher. All right, <laughs> so that's funny. I know I'm laughing so much. All right, let's see if they're in here. And they are. All right. So, Grizzly King, I'm going to message you on here. Well, not message you, but I'm going to comment. Hopefully, hopefully you watch this video. Uh, email us and we'll get you hooked up. Make sure when you email us, you mention that uh, you won the pry bar. Thanks everyone. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.